So let's continue on with part four and it's time to create the circular shape of here. So to do this, we're going to scroll down here and I'm going to do it the easiest way by creating a dot here. And how are we going to create the dot? Well, first of all, we need to indicate similar to above here that we have a starting point here or we're going to create a new shape. Then what I will do here is a few things. First of all, I'm going to say here, CTX dot arc and arc allows us to create a circle or curved shapes. So what I want to do here and let's make this like that. I'm going to say this is the needle and this is the arc. So what I want to do here is we'll put in the variables. So we're going to have the X variable, the Y variable. We're going to say here uh, the radius. So that will be 15 pixels. We want to make sure that this is the same. And uh, what we're going to do next is the starting angle, angle start. And then I guess we can have here an angle end. And then we have here, do we have it counterclockwise? Counterclockwise. And in this case, I will say false. We don't need counterclockwise. We just want a full circle. And it doesn't matter if it's counterclockwise or standard. Standard or with the clock, or I guess clockwise. So what I want to do here, remember we have here, this here is a translate that is now converted into a zero, zero. So we're going to put in here zero, zero. The radius here, and what I can do here, maybe that will be even more practical. We're going to say a constant radius equals 15 pixels. Make sure we type that correctly. There we are. I'm going to grab this, put it in here, put it in there. And then we have it here as well. So that will be far more easier. Then we have here the starting angle. And the starting angle here is well we don't have any angle yet so i'm going to say here constant angle will be math.pi divided by 180 degrees the reason why is one pi is a half circle two pi is a full circle so that's 180 degrees so we say angle multiplied by zero i guess we can just see here zero that's very simple and then here angle multiplied by 360 degrees so we start at zero the starting point and then make a full circle like that. Once we did that, what I want to do more is I want to say ctx.fail to fill up the shape. And if I save this, refresh, you can see it moves here. So why? What is happening here? Well, we have this here because we have this restore effect here, which will basically undo everything that we had just did with the translation and the colors. So it doesn't pick up the item. So all I want to do is I want to say this restore should not restore yet. We just maintain the structure that we have set here with the translate. And if I refresh now, it works nicely. So if I change this here to 20, we get a ticker or a dinner, whatever you want here. Let's make this back to 15 and that will look absolutely phenomenal. So the next video, we're going to focus on the rotation, of course. We need to focus on that to so have a nice rotation here.